The Nebraska Cornhuskers hold the NCAA record with 26 consecutive winning seasons, and there's no reason to believe that 1988 won't add a year to that record. The team figures to be in the hunt, not only for the Big 8 title, but for the national championship as well. Hi, I'm Ross Dernstrom from Memorial Stadium in Lincoln, Nebraska. It's been five years since Nebraska last won the Big A championship, but the long wait could be over in 1988. The Huskers returned five starters on offense and five starters on defense, which makes for a solid base to build on this season. For the third year in a row, the Nebraska offense will be directed by Steve Taylor. The senior quarterback is more than a runner than a passer. He runs a 4-5 in the 40 and last season rushed for almost 700 yards. But Taylor can pass if he wants to. Just ask UCLA. He threw for five touchdowns against the Bruins in 87. The Huskers will look to Taylor for leadership and to unify the team. As far as the team, we're just as close as we could be as of right now. And we're just, we're, I'm pretty sure during the season, we're going to grow and become much more closer. So I, I think our unity is going to be one of our strongest points this year. And I think we need that in order to, to be Big A champs. Taylor is also considered as one of the top candidates for the Heisman Trophy. I just want to go out and, and win the Heisman on the field if it's going to be won by Steve Taylor. So, uh, you know, I think to, to win that, you need to be on a good team. And uh, I'm thankful that I've been here at Nebraska and they've given me the opportunity to show my ability and to, and to be a Heisman candidate. The I-back will still be the workhorse of the Nebraska offense. With the departure of Keith Jones, the Huskers will look to three players to handle the ball. Tyrese Knox is the strongest at 215 pounds. He was the alternate I-back the last two years but he missed most of spring practice and could take a longer time to reach his top form. The most impressive runner in fall camp was Ken Clark. The junior was sidelined last year with a knee strain, but he seems to have recovered fully from the injury. Terry Rogers, the son of the 1972 Heisman Trophy winner Johnny Rogers, will also challenge for the I-back spot. He was redshirted last year after an injury early in the season. Coach Osborne doesn't expect to change his game plan on offense and will stick to the ground game. It's kind of interesting. You hear complaints about uh, our offense. I guess the main complaint is not throwing enough. And yet uh, you look at a lot of so-called stats, uh, you know, scoring, which I hope is a, an index. Uh, and over the years, we, we were, I think we're right at the top. The Huskers may have their strongest offensive line since 1984. They feature a veteran left side with tackle Bob Sledge, guard Andy Keeler, and center Jake Young. The receiving core is loaded with experience and speed. Wingback Dana Brinson is one of the fastest players ever timed at Nebraska. He runs the 40 in 4.37 seconds. He will be pressed for the top spot by Richard Bell. At tight end, Todd Milliken returns as a three-year letterman. He finished second in receptions on the team in 87. At split end, Morgan Gregory and Chip Bosch are quality at the position, but they may have to make room for Nate Turner, a highly regarded redshirt freshman. The Huskers kicking game may be the strongest in the Big 8. Chris Drennan connected on all 53 point after touchdowns, a school record. He also booted a 50 yard field goal. John Croker returns for his third year as the number one punter. He averaged over 44 yards a punt in the Huskers final two games last year. But look for Nebraska to be dangerous on punt returns. Dana Brinson returned two for touchdowns last year. He says Nebraska will be a threat to score any time. Well, I think the special team is going to be very important to our team this year. I mean, because with our I-backs, we don't have one, you know, main I-back. So the special team is going to do a lot as far as getting us good field position so that the offense can perform. Defensively, the Huskers appear strong at linebacker and secondary. All-American Broderick Thomas is back for his third year as a starter, along with All-Big 8 linebacker Leroy Etienne. We've been uh, starting for like two years and now. Uh, as some of the better players on the team that are um, linebackers. So I think, you know, our linebackers are going to have to pull together. Our linemen are uh, fairly young, so, you know, we're going to have to pull our um, share of the load. The secondary, which was vulnerable to the pass last year, has three starters back. Charles Fryer, Lorenzo Hicks, and Mark Blazek. But quarterback to Han Lewis and free safety Tim Jackson may start. Sophomore Reggie Cooper could make an impact right away. The situation up front is not that rosy where no starters return. That lack of experience, though, doesn't concern the black shirts. I don't think we have a problem with our in, inside um, 
defensive line is concerned. We have like Willie Griffin, we have Paul Brungo, we have Mike Murray, we have Kent Wells, we have Ray Valadeo. Those guys can fill their shoes pretty well. And plus we have some depth in that position people don't seem to realize. So as far as the interior line is concerned, we're going to be consistent. We're going to be tough. Nebraska will be looking for its first Big 8 title since 1983. They expect other teams to challenge for the top spot along with Oklahoma. I think Missouri is going to be pretty good this year and also uh, Oklahoma State and maybe even Colorado. So it's, it's going to be, uh, um, as far as for the second and third races, I think uh, it's going to be a little bit more stiff for competition. But as far as the number one, I think it's going to come down to, to Nebraska and OU. The way I see it, uh, I think it's the big eight this time, you know, and uh, you know, you got teams like Colorado, Missouri that are on the upswing. And I think they're going to um, do their share of, um, you know, hard work. You know, it's going to be some close games. Oklahoma State's been doing pretty good the last couple of years. They gave us a good game, uh, almost beat Oklahoma. You know, it's been pretty tight, and it's going to be tight this year. It's going to boil down to Oklahoma and Nebraska. Every year it always boils down to that. And this is our last year. We haven't won a Big 8 title in three years since I've been here. I mean, I want to go out with the Big Bang. I mean, I could think about this like 20, 15 years from now. I could say to myself, hey, we won a Big 8 title. This group of Nebraska seniors was rated the best recruiting class in the nation back in 1985. This season will determine just how good they really are. From Lincoln, this is Ross Jernstrom reporting.